வணக்கம் ஹியர் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு கிவ் தி ஓவர் வியூ ஆஃப் தி எஸ்ஐபி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் கோர்ஸ் விச் வி கன்க்ளூடட் ரீசெண்ட்லி ஹியர் ஐ வில் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் வாட் இஸ் தி ஃப்ளோ ஆஃப் த கோர்ஸ் வாட் ஆர் த கண்டென்ட்ஸ் இட் இஸ் கவர்ட் அண்ட் ஹூ ஆர் ஆல் த ஆடியன்ஸ் ஹவு த ஆடியன்ஸ் கேன் யூட்டிலைஸ் திஸ் கோர்ஸ் so that people can refer this course in appropriate way and utilize this course to the maximum possible extent actually this course was started in january 2020 we started with the purpose of knowledgeing my share sorry share my knowledge and experience in s4 hana production planning in both english and in my mother tongue tamil and uh, it was including all my sap consulting experience and also how those sap were implemented and also how they were applied in regular operations mainly the course is focusing on discrete manufacturing i have not covered repetitive manufacturing and process industries ppa the course was planned to complete in 2020 itself but due to some personal reasons and also some pre occupations i could complete in may 2022 only which means this month during this course i spent a lot of time and also a lot of efforts were required to collect all these details like first i have to decide what i should share i mean how the flow has to happen and how it could be helpful to the people who are going to listen this course because you should be productive you should be useful whoever is seeing they should get some benefit out of it of course during preparation of the course i also learned a lot in this sap because sap is an ocean every day you see you will learn something new the course is the course flow it is defined in such a way that it start with the introduction to production planning and there are uh, four videos there and it's having total length of the videos are 81 minutes next i spent a good amount of time in material master because that is a very very basic thing to ensure the production planning to happen properly and also other views which are required to support sap pp the length of this sap master material master course session itself is around 256 minutes then other master data like a bill of material work center routing production version for those i spent 126 minutes next is the demand management where we talked about uh, how to enter the demand in system what is metal requirement planning what is the logic in mrp and how to run mrp what are the exception messages and what are the planned orders some discussion on planned orders these things were discussed in 191 minutes and then the production orders what is production order how to manage production order these things are covered in 90 minutes including the reports required for sap production and then some specific cases like external operations capacity planning and uh, leveling and what is the standard configuration required 66 minutes in total this course the co- the core content the length is 13.5 hours 8 810 minutes and if you convert this 13.5 hours right maybe you have to pause and you have to understand you have to go through these uh, uh, contents what is given here and then you have to practice if it's going to be a, a, some discussions like this if you take if it is the classroom training it is sure it is going to be at least 50 to 60 hours uh, course and who are all the people can benefit from this uh, course and how it is uh, to the broad range of people it is useful for example people without sap exposure they can go through the sap transaction what is here and uh, maybe by installing an sap ids they can practice all the transaction taught here and people with sap exposures who are working with the, like end users and also the abapers the technical people who want to move from technical area to functional fun- functional area they can also use this course where again they have to start with uh, sap ids of course they have to practice all the sessions here go through the configuration settings practice different scenarios mainly be varying inputs to master data don't play on the configurations here just to understand but don't change them. and the people with the exposure like a power users or a bappers again you pre- practice all those transactions here understand the settings in configuration and you have to spend a lot of time on understanding each master data 
each field defined in configurations and practice different scenarios by varying the inputs in master return configurations. Maybe configurations because you are having some exposure, so you can do some little changes and you should note down them, then you have to bring them back to the normal. So then this course is useful for SAP consultants also because here based on my practical experience, I gave some tips here and there. And also maybe uh, main problem in SAP consultant is how to link between the SAP transactions and the business requirements. So here you can see many areas I just discussed on concepts. So please go through the concepts here and how they are linked to SAP. That is what is the main thing which is missing with many users. So and also please explore various mass return configuration settings. How to accelerate your learning? I suggest you to get an idea system and practice, practice, practice. That is a way to learn SAP. For any clarification, you just use Google where you type your query or doubt in this. You have a lot of answers. Some references like answers.sap.com, help.sap.com. They are having plenty of information to get so that you can learn them and do it. See, SAP is, is it should be learned mostly self. It cannot be taught by somebody else. Even if it is taught, they are just showing the path, they are showing the light, but we have to travel, right? We have to travel. We have to travel means you have to practice. If you don't practice, you cannot learn. And here I give the list of sessions what has covered here, so that it is like a, it is like the table of contents for this course. So that you can refer them and anything you want to see, you can go to that particular session and see that. So it will be very helpful for you, right? like it starts with the introduction then metal master and different views in metal master metal master continued here then regarding bill of materials then work centers routing demand management and then shop floor management and the specific cases and then these sessions they may be some other sessions added in the future for example i may add uh, somebody was asking um, how to do the planning with the planning material that, that i have not covered it so far maybe I, I will take some time and cover it so that time there may be some other videos also may get it this is the status of the uh, sessions as on 28 may 2022 thank you all for your great support so far for this vp course as promised in the year beginning in 2022 we will start the mm course soon meanwhile please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents and if you have any queries, you can WhatsApp me in the number given here or you can mail me in the mail ID given here. Thank you all. See you in MM course. Bye. Take care.